was Ladies' Night at the Linda Auditorium, and we caught up with guest conductor Deborah Woolman and classical pianist Gloria Campana right before they took to the stage as part of the Joburg Philharmonic Orchestra's Summer Season Week 2 program. Being a conductor is a, like a mysterious thing. You can have the same orchestra with the same piece with different conductors and it would sound different. With the same measure, the same tempo, it would sound different. Each one of us has something to say, this is very important. And uh, maybe we, we, f we found resonance in public and uh, in the world also. And this makes that music sounds finally. I was very curious when I did this studying of composition, how one need to have these feelings and this thought and just to traduce this into notes and to, that will give feelings to other people. It was a process that was very curious for me and this is why I studied composition. Otherwise, I don't have the feeling of necessity to compose each day. Yes, to interpret, but not to compose, so I'm just a conductor. <laughs> This is already fourth or fifth time uh, actually in this country, which I love really very much. I'm so excited on stage there will be another wonderful woman and a wonderful woman conductor, which is a bit rare. I mean, nowadays soloists, women soloists are very uh, common and in the latest 20 years, I mean, it's something that is really as common as men. But women conductor is not happening so often, so I was very happy to be, uh, and I'm so honored to be part of this project. Well, I'm very happy to meet Gloria. It's the first time we work together. Immediately she is f full of energy, it's incredible. But of course, to me, it's to work with a woman or with a man, it's like the same, because music is no genre, has no genre. It's the same for the podium. You can close your eyes tonight and you will not notice that it's a woman conducting. This is very important to say. I think, I don't know, this had been a job that, of course, it was taking over men for centuries and and obviously I feel like I want to also make be a part of this because we have the same rights right so of course this is very important for me and I think also women they have kind of creative creative energy in themselves like loving energy and the power of creation is naturally biologically in a woman and music is creation and love we had a long period of preparation uh, which is very interesting for a conductor because we don't have the orchestra all day in our room <laughs> but we have all day and all the time orchestra in our head so the real process of conception of the piece is done before and when I get to the orchestra I just hearing what I have in the head almost and in the concert really properly it just anticipating thing uh, inspiring letting letting go you know people need to to be a very spiritual moment for us I fly out of here and land uh, in Venice but I have a rehearsal that precise day um, in a new project which is actually dedicated to women. So it's an entire new project which is called Daphne and it's dedicated to uh, violence against uh, women. So it's a project to actually fight with this matter and it will be a world premiere of an Italian composer called Mario Pagotto who wrote this scene for solo piano, violin, soprano, strum, uh, string orchestra and percussions. I hope they will take a profound experience a lot of sensation, a lot of emotion and uh, usually you come to a concert so sometimes after work and you are like this and after a concert you are like this and this I really want to vibrate with the public, uh, with this music, with musicians. I'm John Tarode and you're watching Joburg Today.